In today's video, I'm going to show you how to start using the Mantle network. Mantle is a new Ethereum rollup, and it's backed by one of the largest treasuries in crypto. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As always, nothing I say in this video is financial advice, so I'll show you how to do some things in crypto, but you should still do your own research and be aware of all the risks before doing them yourself. Now, let's get into it. First, a really quick overview of what exactly Mantle is. We can see here that they state their goal as the mass adoption of token governed technologies and they have a very cool three-dimensional animation here as well and it's an ethereum roll-up so what that means is that it ultimately settles onto ethereum inheriting some of the security properties of ethereum although roll-ups do have their own security risks as well uh, but what i think makes it really unique among ethereum roll-ups is that it's backed by the mantle treasury in mantle was formerly known as BitDAO, and their treasury is nearly $1 billion. That's one of the largest treasuries of any crypto company, so that's a lot of firepower to grow this ecosystem, and perhaps some of you are interested in using it. This video assumes that you already have some sort of wallet that you're interested in using for, for crypto. In this case, we are using MetaMask, and by default, MetaMask will be on the Ethereum network. However, we're going to add the Mantle network since we want to use it on a Mantle. To do that, you go to this website, chainlist.org. This is the easiest way to add pretty much any Ethereum compatible network. You search it at the top and then it brings up the network Mantle. We click on add to MetaMask and it's going to confirm the details over here, approve them. And do we want to switch to the network? Sure. So now we switch to Mantle and we are on Mantle. There's only one problem. We don't have any MNT, right? We can't do anything. MNT is the Mantle token. You need it to transact on Mantle. So we got to bridge some over. And that's what we're going to do next. To do that, we'll need to go back to Ethereum. You can see I use a lot of different networks. So we go back to Ethereum. And now we're going to go to the Mantle bridge. So that's bridge.mantle.xyz. And we can bridge from the Ethereum mainnet. And then one thing that's really, really important to note here is many rollups, Arbitrum, optimism base they use eth as the gas token which means that when you're bridging from ethereum to arbitrum ethereum to other rollups you're bridging eth however on mantle uses mnt as the token so even if you want to bridge some of these other tokens if you want to bridge some eth because they, they do have that option as well you're going to need to bridge some mnt as well because that's what's used for to pay for transactions second thing to know is that because it's an optimistic rollup you can bridge on immediately, but it takes seven days to bridge off. And that's basically for security reasons. Eventually, there will be third party bridges where you can bridge off immediately. However, as of the time I'm making this video in August 2023, there's no third party bridges, so it takes seven days. The first thing that we'll need to do is we're going to need to get some MNT tokens. To do that, we'll go over to Uniswap, app.uniswap.org, for those of you who don't use it, and we will select MetaMask. Uh, and there's a lot of other places you could go as well. You know, you might want to use a DEX aggregator, but for this video, to keep it simple, I'm going to use Uniswap. And then once MetaMask is connected, we'll see our current ETH holdings in this wallet, and then we'll be able to select the token that we're swapping to. You type in MNT, and you can see that there's actually a few options, right? There's Mintrust, that's not what we want. And there's all these other ones that are close to it. There's Asset Mantle, there's Wrapped MNT, that's not what we want. We want this one that has this logo that looks kind of like a, like a sun almost or some sort of nucleus surrounded by surrounded by lines so we're going to select mantle and it gives us the confirmation that it's not on centralized us exchanges it gives us the token address and we click understand but first i'm going to copy this because we're going to double check that this is the right token as you should always do when you're buying something on a dex so we click on i understand and I'm going to go copy that address over here into the address bar. And we can see this is the token for MNT. So far, it looks pretty good, right? Circulating market cap, 1.45 billion. So this is not some random token. But just to confirm, we see the token contract address here is 0x3c3. It's at what it starts with. We're going to go over here to CoinGecko. We're going to search for the MNT token. And we're going to confirm that that address is the same. This is basically where the contract for that token lives on Ethereum. And so if that's the same, you know, no two tokens have the same contract. We can see this is also 0x3c3 and then a bunch of other letters and numbers. So this is in fact the right token. We got the right MNT. 
I'm going to swap just a small amount of ETH for demonstration to MNT. So I'll, I'll do 0 0.01 ETH to MNT and I'll click on swap. That's about 40 MNT. Let's swap it. We'll confirm and the swap is submitted. Fantastic. This should just take a second. Ethereum it takes a little longer than other networks just because uh, it tends to not be as fast, but it shouldn't take more than, you know, five minutes or so. Now that our swap is a success, then we now have the MNT in our wallet and we're ready to bridge over to Mantle. Now, one thing really important to remember, always make sure you have some ETH for gas, right? You never want to end up in a situation where you don't have any ETH because then you'll have to buy some on an exchange and send it over or get a friend to send you some. Now we're going to want to connect our wallet, click on connect wallet. It brings up the option to use MetaMask. Click on next, click on connect. And there we go. Your balance is 40 MNT. So let's see, I'm going to do all of it. 40.073 and first click on this button to allocate the allowance max we're going to confirm it again this might take a couple seconds just because ethereum tends to be a little slower than other networks and then once that confirms the button will change to deposit tokens to l2 click on deposit click on confirm once again, you will be prompted to confirm the transaction in your wallet. You can see this costs a little bit of gas, right? This is an $8 transaction. One thing that's important to note is that this fee is going to be the same no matter how much you're transferring over. So if you're transferring over a little, it'll be a huge percentage like it is for this demo. If you're transferring over a lot, then it may actually be a small percentage, but we're going to confirm it. And then it says this could take as much as 10 to 15 minutes. So if you're sitting here, you don't know what happened to your funds, your MNT is, is missing somewhere on the bridge, fret not, it could still, it's probably still on its way, and chances are that if it's taking longer, it just means that the bridge is congested. But in this case, it looks like it happened almost straight away. And then even once it deposits here, it likely won't show up on the other network quite yet. So if I, for example, if I change to Mantle here, you can see I use a lot of different networks, but Mantle is the most recent. I don't have any MNT yet, but if I wait a minute, then the MNT should appear. And we can see here that eventually my bridge transaction did go through, and somehow I actually ended up with more MNT on Mantle than I deposited. I don't know exactly how that works. I guess maybe there's some sort of bonus for using the bridge. And that's how to bridge to the Mantle network. If you want more videos like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.